here for my great challenge another day of cleaning for me I'm about to do the bedroom so you already saw uh, Scott and I doing the bed because it's just very very hot in here and doing the bed by yourself is just too much so we changed the sheets actually we did the uh, summer setup um, removed the big comforter because and we're sleeping on top of it right now so obviously we don't need it so I'm just keeping just enough when it starts getting a little cool at night, once we have the air conditioning uh, in and whatnot, then we just have like the fleece blanket and that's it if I need it. But this room is actually not looking so bad. Um, and let's be honest here, you've seen it looking way worse than this. So I'm going to give you a quick tour, show you what I'm going to do. It's mostly dusting, putting things back where they belong and definitely vacuum because it's needed. All right. So yeah, that's it. So when you come in, this is what the bedroom looks like. We got Scott's side over there. You've seen all of this. My phone's been moved. Um, the bed was just made. Yeah, and there's uh, water here from this thing. I need to get an extension cord so I can put it on my uh, bedside table. So I have to vacuum everything and I got to clean up this area here. I have some of my cleaning supplies. You saw the bathroom. That's the last video I did. I have some of my uh, clothes and stuff that I need to put away. That's the trash that's been collecting stuff from between this bathroom and this bedroom for the past, I don't know, two or three days. My clinic supplies here and then I have this here that needs to be clean and stuff on the floor. The white chair that I no longer use, I got to bring downstairs and everything else has got to be dusted and I have to sweep the staircase and mop it. So let me start with that corner over there because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here with the drawer. And then what I really want to do is put the humidifier on top of my little uh, table because I need it. Um, with my COPD, I need that at night, uh, especially when it's really, really hot. So let's get started. For wood, I'm using this right now. It really, really works for me. This is uh, Lemon Oil by Holloway House and you just use a regular dusting cloth and uh, it really nourishes the wood, protects it, gives it a nice sheen. The only thing is that you got to really, really wipe it off because otherwise you just get this residue and then um, you get the oil on your finger and then it goes all over the place. So I'm going to do the top real quick. I got to do the inside right here because it's just like there's too much stuff in here.
the bedroom is done. And I have to say, it really didn't take as long as I thought it would. In the past, this room would take forever. But since I've decluttered so much, and the bathroom, same way, um, I've decluttered so much in the month of April, if you remember my 30-day challenge, it's easier to clean. It is true, it's easier to clean. I don't have as much stuff to move from one side to the other. Is this bedroom perfect? No, ideally I should like totally move the bed and go vacuum underneath it. But the problem with the bed is that I never bought those sliders that you put underneath so you can just move the bed. It's pretty much stuck on the carpeting and it's very difficult to move. Like you need literally two people to do that and even with that you can't move it all the way. It's very heavy. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick tour. Um, so today I did the bathroom and the master bedroom and it's super hot in here. I have a fan on the other side that's actually taking the air out. So it's circulating the cooler air from the north side of the house onto through this bedroom onto the window right there that is facing south. That window is super hot. You can see like I have the sun literally on it right now. So instead of sending this air inside, I'm sending it out. So it's pushing the air out. And and what we do at night is that we pretty much reverse it. When the air is getting cooler, we bring the air in. Um, and then sometimes we do it as an exchange where one is out and one is in, so we get the air circulating. But technically we should be putting the AC on. It's going to be 77 degrees tomorrow, so we really don't feel the need to, you know, bring this big thing and set it on the window when we're not getting into the 80s and 90s again until another week and a half according to the weather. So, this is what the room looks like. I undo the stairs, alright? So I got all the clothes um, in the hamper. This has been dusted. Um, didn't really organize the jewelry or anything, but it's all dusted and I shine the mirror. Um, this is clean. The bed is made. Um, I've cleaned up Scott's area. It was really dusty. You saw that. And then the closet, you've seen it, right? It hasn't moved much. It's the same that it was the last time you saw me do the closet. And then you have this dresser right here. And for the life of me, I cannot clean this mirror. I don't know what's on it. There's like a, a gummy residue that I just can't remove. I think I'm gonna have to hit it with like some serious vinegar or something. Um, anyway, so I have perfumes there and a picture of mom. Um, that's the only picture I'm gonna have here. I really don't want pictures otherwise. Somebody asked me about my perfume collection. Now, I have more perfumes in there. Actually, I'm gonna show them to you. So. Uh, these are the ones that I'm currently rotating because uh, I never wear the same every day and I really really love perfumes So what do we have? Well, we have Femme de Rochasse, which if you watch my channel for a while, you know is my absolute favorite perfume So when I go to France this summer, I am uh, stocking up on that because it's kind of hard to find Though you can get it on Amazon now, but I really don't know whether or not it's the real deal <laughs> So I'd rather buy it in France at the department stores there at least I know I'm getting what I want. It's very warm, ambery um, type scent, kind of vanilla jasmine. Very, very warm. More of a winter scent than anything else, but it's an old scent. I mean, this is really, really old. Not the bottle, but the actual creation of the perfume. This is Modern Muse Estilado. I really like this. This reminds me of... Um, I can't remember the name. Magnolia, I think, from Yves Rocher. Um, very, very similar. This is the Imperial Water by Guerlain. This is more like a splash after bath water. Absolutely wonderful. This is Jimmy Choo. Uh, this is the Crystal by Versace. It's very flowery. I actually kind of like this. It's a very nice spring and summer scent. So is this one and so is that one. And this is, you know, the uh, Chanel number no. 5. Since you guys have been asking, um, what else do we have in here that I'm not rotating currently? We have Allure, that's Chanel. There's the um, Baiser du Dragon by Cartier. This is uh, Dragon's Kiss. Very, very spicy. I love this. The problem with it is that most people do not like it at all. So there's always folks who make comments about, oh, what are you, you know, what is that you're wearing? They don't really, really like it. So people who have allergies to perfume or are very sensitive will tell you this is horrendous. I, on the other hand, absolutely love it. So I kind of, I'm careful where I wear it basically, but this is a great winter um, fragrance as well. Uh, this is the perfume for the Chanel number no. five. The other one is the, um, or the toilette. This is um, Juicy Couture. Eh, it's all right. I'm not crazy about it, but I like it. Um, uh, hold on, we got another Chanel here. This is Coco Mademoiselle. 
this is wonderful um, but again this is another one that not everybody likes so you have to be careful when you wear it this is Boucheron um, perfume really like this spicy uh, not too floral not too sweet and this is Estée Lauder Sensuous. Um, it's kind of like an in-between the Cartier and the Boucheron. It's a little spicy, but it's got a little bit of floral and jasmine. I gotta be careful and make sure that I'm keeping those standing. Um, anyway, so yeah, the Cartier, the Boucheron, and the Sensuous by Estée Lauder, these are three perfumes that I have to be careful. Um, who I wear them around, like there's somebody at work who absolutely can't stand this one. I mean, like she's made a comment, like she was almost getting sick because I was wearing this. Whatever. So I, you got to be careful. I so that was a tidbit about the perfume since um, I can't remember who asked, but it's done. Uh, and then my husband's, you know, dresser, we've all seen it. I still have the um, sewing machine because I'm still in the middle of projects here for the bathroom. And in the bathroom you've just seen um, in the last video, nothing much has changed. It's still super clean in here. So yeah, the third floor is done. Very happy. I managed to plug in this thing here in the back because the plug is on the other side and this is great because in the um at night i can have the steam or the uh, cold mist actually go directly over my face it's good for my skin and it's great for my breathing so very happy about that and then i refill my water and then you saw me uh, clean this here these are essential must have because uh, we got a snore in the house so i wear plugs not always but when he really really is snoring i gotta wear the plugs and then this is just like random stuff hand stuff my um rescue inhaler and that's about it and i got a few books in there and magazines so yep the third floor is clean um i'm very glad i've done this whole decluttering process in the house i have to say that again it's much easier to clean the cleaning goes faster and there's less to do and it's much easier to maintain for sure so now i'm gonna have to figure out something about this mirror and what can i use to clean it i'm gonna have to do some research because i it looks like there's a greasy coat and i know i didn't put the oil on this so it's not from that i don't know what did it it's been there for a while that i know so I gotta uh, I gotta do some research um, I think that hot water with soap and then some straight vinegar probably gonna do it so um, don't even know what time it is let me see on Scott's clock it is 4 55 in the afternoon it's time for me to go relax so we're gonna have a um, probably a very large iced tea and maybe go out um, because the temperature is finally coming down so we're gonna enjoy some air conditioning somewhere. I should shower before I do that, right? And yeah, maybe I'll go to Barts Noble. Something like that. Usual weekend, you know, outing. Whew, I'm tired. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you are new. I know you guys have been asking for cleaning videos um, again on the channel. So there you have it. You just got to. <laughs> tomorrow I'm doing, what am I doing tomorrow? I'm doing the kids bathroom, the office. And the kids room is actually looking really, really good lately. So I'm probably just going to have to sweep and mop. That's it. And then maybe straighten up the uh, guest bedroom. That's that. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.